no, that's just the end of the video. That's a commercial break for me. It usually lasts for about a day. I don't know where I'm going with this. But, um... Anyways, so how have you guys been? How's your day been? Uh, mine's been doing pretty good. Like I said, a little stressful since tomorrow uh, the kitchen is getting demolished. If you guys are wondering what uh, demolished means, basically like our family has one of the probably the smallest kitchens you can imagine like ever. Like, probably the smallest kitchen you've ever seen in your entire life. So what we did was about two weeks ago, we took out the tile and we replaced it with like this really fancy um, like... I don't know, gems or something like that. We replaced it with that kind of tile and, excuse me, uh, we replaced it with that and we extended it out to about, I don't know, the dining room. Like we got rid of the dining room since we don't really use that specific location anymore. I'm going to do myself a favor, get some food to eat. Since we don't really eat in that exact area anymore. So we took that out and we tore that down to about, so the kitchen was going to be twice as large. And... Now, what they're going to do is we're going to get, like, a table in the center. So those guys tomorrow are going to come with, like, sledgehammers and, you know, nail guns and stuff like that. And they're just going to, like, hammer through the sink and everything. Or I think we're going to get all new appliances, too, which I think they might be uh, destroying the old ones. I'm not too sure. But they're going to be, like, tearing it out of walls. It's going to be pretty sick. Uh, I would record and, like, I don't think I'm going to be there tomorrow. The reason for that, I have no idea. Like, I'm sure, you know, my parents have a pretty good reason why I shouldn't be there. Like, it's not like I can't handle it or something. That's like I need to stay with my brother or something. But, if you guys don't remember, I do have a brother. But, um, yeah, I might record, try and record that and put it up as a little bonus video or a vlog. <laughs> Look at the creeper. I'm king of the world, bitch. But, uh, yeah, so that tomorrow is going to be really, really fun for them, I'm sure. Uh, I would love to be there just watching things go down. But, you know, can't be there for everything. So right now we're actually doing pretty good on Crystal Count. There's quite a few uh, spiders there, which are actually... I think the spiders... To be honest, I think everything in the game is give you uh, gives you knockback. Because if you notice, like... I did say that the skeleton arrows give you knockback, but I just think it's damage overall. Because if you've seen me get hit by those uh, spiders, I go flying. Like, that thing shoots me. So, I'm pretty sure, also with zombies, I haven't had too much of a problem with zombies. It's mostly just, um, skeletons and spiders, because the spiders can run really, really fast. So those things catch up to you pretty quickly. As for the, the skeletons, those things shoot you from everywhere. Since I think their accuracy has increased a bit. But, as for the creepers and the zombies, they're not too much of an initial problem. The creepers, I suppose, but the zombies just, the zombies honestly aren't that big of a deal at all. Everything else, though. The fireballs. That's one thing I kind of don't like about this. Like, to be honest, the fireballs is a good idea. Ooh, we're going to turn around. The fireballs is a good idea. I just think they're a bit too overpowered since they actually can one-shot you. Like, I've checked into that. They can actually, if they direct impact you or hit you, like, a foot away, they can actually kill you in one hit. Which, I kind of get why you put it in there, but it's a bit random for surviving. See, that thing was way off and it tore down three hearts. But it's a bit random for people surviving, and, you know, like, keep it in the game, definitely, but if you're watching this, I would tone down the damage of it just a bit. Like, just a, just a little bit. Not too much, but just so it doesn't kill you in one hit. Okay. Is there going to be any land here? Is this just going to go out? Yeah. There's no land here. Which means there's probably not going to be any crystals out here. I'm assuming... Yeah, no crystals, unless I can't see in this. I kind of just want to, like, wipe my screen because the snow's been on here for so long. I would turn off um, the snowy, like, all the stuff and everything, but I'm pretty sure that would get rid of the lightning and the fireballs, which would make it a bit too easy. I'm sure it would. I would very much appreciate it, but it would just be a little bit of a cheap way out. Okay, we're going to go up and grab this, and then just keep climbing. And we're going to make a little bit of a different turn since we can't go that way, really. Yeah, see, that zombie just hit me. I think it might have been the zombie. And I just went flying. So I think he definitely coded it where they're a lot stronger, which I, I like, personally. I haven't been using my sword too often. It's mostly just running. Running and then... Ooh, ooh. Okay. Being careful here. Being careful here. We're exiting the snow biome, which means 
not we're gonna be uh, visiting water soon again but okay checking here another thing I ooh chest that's perfect and it's not that guarded whatsoever uh, just as I say that okay let's see what's in here something good please four arrows not something I'm gonna waste my time trying to get I should actually keep a spare yeah, there's a spare inventory slot. I'm pretty sure that was also a fireball right there. Yeah. Climb up. We're on way too much of an edge for me to be comfortable right now. Anything can just knock me straight off. I'm surprised that didn't happen. There's a crystal right there. I think I'm going to go down and try and get that. Probably going to be the end of me, but... Okay. Yeah, probably the end of me. Not the end of me, but at least... I hurt a bit. Still doing in this. There's not a lot of epic moments yet, like... There was that one with the creeper, but there hasn't really been, like, a lot of, you know, t intense, like, jaw-dropping ender pearl throws like there wasn't a nether, because that, oh my gosh, that was, I looked over that so many times, crazy what happened there, I cannot believe I made it out alive. Even on the last shot that we did to make it into, like, that little cave or whatever, that wasn't, that was crazy. How'd I make it out of there? But, um, getting back to what I wanted to say, the maker of this game, like, you look at this, this is actually a really fantastic mod. Like, I'm not sure how much time you spent coding on this, you would figure a lot, but, you know, I'm just not a coder. But you would think that, like, the reason I did it was because not a lot of people have done this playthrough. In fact, not a lot of people have done the mod at all. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to actually take this into, like, hardcore levels like going to the end and everything but nobody okay we're in trees that's probably not the best idea but i haven't seen anybody do a playthrough on this mod like none of the big guys have done anything about it and you would uh, you know you would expect them to be all over it since this completely changes the game you know you would like let's take for example yogg's cast you know they do freaking everything you know you can hardly like one out of every two things that you find the yogg's cast did it like, that's just, that's just how it works, and it sucks. But, you know, you would... I really want to give the guy a lot more credit. And it, hopefully I've given him the credit he deserves, even though, you know, relatively small channel here. I just want to say, you know, to you, if you're watching, great job on this mod, sir. Fantastic. You... <laughs> and just another thing right there. What could have killed me. Even though it was that far away, and it still pile-jarred me down. But yeah, dude. Uh, fantastic mod. I don't know if it was just you. I'm pretty sure it was just one of you working on this, but either way, however many people were in production with this mod, kudos to you, sir. Kudos to you. Pumpkin! Oh my gosh! Pumpkin! Yes! We've got ourselves a pumpkin. I feel happy about my life now. Sir? Sir? He's dead? I feel happy about my life. Okay. I don't know what I was referencing there. But, oh, there's a... Okay. Chest there way too many mobs guarding it so hopefully I can try and lure them away this is gonna be tricky do I want to risk it on one end it could be a chest with literally nothing inside of it on another it could have all the food in the world okay, I'm pretty sure I pulled all of them away we're gonna just give a quick check Ah, oh, nothing in it no no there was nothing in it okay we made ourselves out luckily the knockback on the mobs I was able to escape if you guys are wondering how I have a cape, it comes with a mod, by the way. Quick little, the more you know, hashtag right there. But, uh, it comes with a mod. I am not the owner of Minecraft, that is not why I have the Mojang cape. But, uh, trust me, if I was the owner of Minecraft, I'd be spreading that around every minute or so. You gotta think, like, you gotta think to yourself, Notch, like, I don't want to sound creepy, but what do you think he thinks when he goes to sleep? Like, does he think... You know, oh, just, you know, I did this today, cool. Or does he think, like, I created one of the most popular games in the world. Ooh, another Ender Pearl, sweet. Like, because you would expect him to kind of think that. It's been, you know, a few years, but this game he's brought out is probably one of the most revolutionary games. I'm not going to say revolutionary. It didn't really revolutionize a lot of things. It revolutionized a lot of modding, and it also told us why that we should... Oh, Jesus! Why we should never use Java for, uh, for a game. Because Java, please not, I doubt you're, I really highly doubt you're listening to this, but please take the time, recode the game into something different than Java. None of us like it. This game could run so much smoother. Like, because 
Minecraft is a really heavy resource demanding game. A lot of you may not think that, but it takes a lot to run this. Especially because it only goes for one core, that's why a lot of Macs run it smoother. But, it takes a lot to run this. For the sole purpose of it being Java. If it was running on, I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a computer whiz here so I can't really say what other platforms there are, but if it was running on uh, another operating system, this could probably run a lot smoother for everybody. And also, like, this game right here, this mod is so resource demanding, I swear to you. Like, right now I'm recording it on 30 frames per second, because, like, for me, it gets rid of, like, I don't know, 30 frames per second just seems like, I don't know, it works for me for some reason. It's not the smoothest gameplay, but still goes over well. But the thing is, this mod, even with... Oh, wait! Okay. This mod with me playing it has taken, like, I don't know, I want to say... I want to get this crystal first, at least. I want to say it goes to, like, 45 frames per second. Maybe not 45, but, like, I don't know, 60 if I'm running it on far and with everything on it, even if I'm not recording. And my computer is, like, really good. Like, I bought myself a gaming computer. If you guys haven't seen that, you can go to my channel. I might, I may put a link in the description uh, right now for the um, setup of my computer and what that included inside of it. But right now, I can't. Um, Crystal Exchange, Pork Shop. Oh, God, what did I just do? Okay. Oh, God, no. Dang it. Okay accidentally just used all my pearls there and that really took a lot of damage on me we need to get out of here we are oh god this is in terror this is really intense right now this is really bad this is really bad okay we need we need to run okay oh jesus oh jesus oh lordy lord please don't please food don't disappear on me i'm trying to make the biggest evasive ever the mobs are pushing me away come on make it make it out alive have we made it out alive are we making it out alive today this zombie is probably gonna say no to that but no i've i've somewhat escaped kind of how are we still alive i have no idea we're gonna run through here as soon as i see that food go down as soon as i get a chance i'm going to eat another one of these pork we made it out alive how did we make it out of that not i'm not saying we're out of here until we've reached the snow biome because that that was crazy right there. That was that was crayfish. That was crayfish. It'd be crayfishing, man. It'd be crayfishing. Anyways, creeper right there. You wanna say hello? <sighs> Bit of a cave. I kinda wanna take a breather, but on the other end. Do I wanna take a breather? I'm gonna take a breather. For just Oh god I Oh I just Ooh, frame rate on that Enderman. Okay, we're going down here. We're going down here. We're gonna take ourselves a bit of a break there don't seem to be any mobs in here so enderman come at me bro come at me come hither towards me brother and oh i dropped a pearl ah okay so here's what i'm gonna do guys um because i actually want to take like a really really short break i gotta go do something in real life i am not gonna make the same mistake i did before i am going to do myself a favor and spend all my pearls right here right now just in case anything happens while i'm away so here we go crystal exchange we're gonna get four more food we've got eight pork and we're gonna buy all the ender pearls we possibly can all right we've got ourselves 15 ender pearls and eight cooked pork chops we're doing pretty good we're gonna take just a little bit of a break i will see you guys back in just a moment hope you guys are enjoying extreme hardcore i know i am Catch you guys later. See ya.